Hello, this is Christian from SIRS Lab, and today's question is, what are the long-term consequences of SIRS? Well, this is a great question, and the short answer is that there may be several possible outcomes for patients if they do not get properly treated. However, the truth is we don't have any published longitudinal data tracking SIRS patients on the long run, but based on clinical data that we currently have, we can make some inferences as to what's likely to happen. One possible outcome is that SIRS patients simply continue to live a long life. They may remain sick, but figure out a way to keep symptoms at bay while doing some kind of extreme avoidance protocol. Now, as far as chronic disease, the most likely candidates are some combination of type 2 diabetes and vascular dementia. Most SIRS patients develop what we call hypometabolism. Our mitochondria lose the ability to use glucose as fuel. Our brain needs glucose in order to perform basic cognitive functions such as learning and memory. And in fact, you'll find the highest amount of insulin receptors in brain regions associated with these cognitive functions. Depletion of glucose also leads to microvascular damage of the blood-brain barrier, which becomes leaky in SIRS. In addition, SIRS patients often end up with microclotting disorders that begin to accumulate in the blood vessels in the brain. And we know that having type 2 diabetes, having a leaky blood-brain barrier, and having microclot formation are all precursors of vascular dementia.